This is the Art Cafe Presents Walt Whitman's Leaves of Grass. Thirteen artists from the local area got together every month for five years to critique and, and talk about their art. We decided that it was time to show the public as a group what we're all about and how we've achieved good things and took this subject as our theme. Each of us doing a painting or a sculpture or a collage about some lines from Leaves of Grass. So this is a painting called Moonrise by Penny Koberger. It's an oil and um, I was out uh, driving home along Muscoma Lake and was lucky enough to catch the moonrise over the lake last winter and uh, light and color and mood have always fascinated me and I attempted to create an emotional connection uh, rather than really strive for realism. This is Sanctuary by Penny Koberger and um, painting allows me to slow down and really contemplate a person or nature uh, we're living in a time of waiting and hoping and reflection, and this painting sort of reflects that for me. This is Roger Wells's painting, one of three, called Male, Female, and it relates to a poem that Whitman wrote about sex. This is a visual expression of a poem by Whitman about everything is made from the stars even leaves of grass. And this final painting is an abstraction of his poem concerning that each of us has a road to travel and it's up to us to do so. This is Vicki Coron and this is an acrylic. It's quite large, four feet by five feet. And Walt Whitman, it's talking about making choices and all the choices we can do as far as where we travel and how we travel. So these people in the center aren't really a group, they're all, they're individual. And they can go one way and then, I mean individually, and actually in the middle of their trip they can choose another direction. Aren't we lucky? And that was a good thought. And this is called Morning Light. So every morning we have a choice. I'm Jack Harkins. I live and paint in Sunapee, New Hampshire. My takeaway from Walt Whitman's Leave of Grass is that he's tried to capture the diversity of human experience and the expansiveness of creation itself. Um, as an artist, um, I find it's important to really focus on the one thing that inspires me uh, from, uh, from nature. In this case, the, my painting, Winding Away, is uh, about the serenity of the land and water itself. Uh, my second painting from a Walt Whitman quote is, um, keep your face always toward the sunshine and shadows will fall behind you. And for me, that's a, a message for all of us in this year of COVID 2020, uh, a message of hopefulness from his quotation. Thank you. Walt Whitman went for a walk in the woods. He called it a ramble. He says on his walk, he scared up a wood drake and a wood duck. And this is my, uh, my inspiration 150 years later of a painting about a bit of poetry that was inspired to me by Walt Whitman. And this other painting over here is a saying, a little, a little short two-line poem, the earth produces grass and leaves and all on earth who live and breathe. Uh, this little poet poem I put together because I was inspired by Walt Whitman's philosophy. And that's basically what this painting is all about. The colors are symbolic. Green is veg vegetable. 
Red is animal, the purple is mineral, and I use those colors uh, to represent the words pertaining to those parts of the earth. You know, 60 questions, vegetable, animal, mineral, well, thank you, Walt Whitman. This is uh, Don Elliott, I'm the artist, and this is my painting uh, from the theme, Walt Whitman, the poem, Give Me Your Splendid Silent Sun. And uh, the, the picture and the, the painting kind of represented what I thought of when I thought of sun in New Hampshire. Uh, I thought of the wonderful summer days with lots of wildflowers and things that were just kind of make you feel kind of at home and glad to be alive. So uh, that was my painting and I, I hope you enjoy it and uh, thank you very much. Okay. This is a mixed media work by Lucy Miller. It's a combination of chains and there's actually a symbol in it. This is a piece that plays with the importance of, of the universal concepts that are found in daily small objects. And this is called The Universe is a Procession. And below it is a sculpture. As a nature lover, I walk every morning. Uh, this is a digital photograph taken on one of those walks. Love the bees. Whitman commented on the bees as well. Uh, they keep me company on walks. And uh, the next piece I'm going to show is the also bees about bees. bees. It's all about pollination. This is a mixed media piece, collage, called To Be or Not To Be, B-E-E. -E. Uh, we depend on them, and it's so important. Uh, this fits right in with my theme, theme of climate It's a bit of a surprise. Change. It started as a digital photograph taken in January of a very frosted window, and that's actually the sun that you see on the left. But it reminded me so much of stars, I said, hey, why not? Uh, this, this hooks up well with um, a quote from Leaves of Grass. Um, and so I just added some grass, and uh, um, there you have it. Something to really think about. Wonderful to go back and, and read again my two copies of Leaves of Grass. One of Thank the you, poems I used women. back then in my classes was Sing the Body Electric. The opening lines of the poem are hand-lettered around the image. This is a mixed media collage. My name is Rick Stockwell. I'm a photographer. This is part of the Walt Whitman's Leaves of Grass show, and this is a photo of Walt Whitman that I layered over with uh, handwritten poems that he wrote. Uh, I love that face, and I just had to put it with encaustic wax, hot wax, to give it that eerie layered uh, old effect on top. This is Keyser Lake Island fog. Uh, it is also an encaustic wax photograph uh, layered with hot wax to give it that foggy depth. 